Hey guys, just thought I'd upload this video for you, uh, just to help anyone that's in need. Uh, this is the, the Waco Dometic CF30, and basically what we had was a dodgy thermistor, which is the little temperature sensor, and what normally happens is the display will just read plus 60, or will just stick to a temperature, and it will either just not operate correctly, or it will just go to freezing cold all the time. And nine times out of 10, it's a common problem, it's the thermistor that basically measures the temperature inside the, the compartment. This is what you need for the CF80 and the 110, 80 litre and 110 litre, that's the item part number and you can get that direct off eBay for about 38 bucks Australian. So there's the, the model number there. There you go. So, basically, the Femista consists of this little plug here that plugs straight into the, into the back, and that runs down there, and this is, the old one that I'm just taking apart now and then that runs around to a p-clip through there so what you want to do first is to pull this cover off and there's just three screws either side piece of piss the tricky bit is getting to the actual sensor itself I've already part dismantled this so I was prepared and you see there's screws there screw there and screw there and there this section will pull out all the shit inside stays with it as you can see but you can just jimmy it out a little bit there's a little bit of flex on the gas pipe don't put it too much you don't want to split the pipe but there's just enough to get it out enough then you can get to the screws. There's one there, and there's three down the side there of the bottom case. And then there's another one there, 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 and there. And once you've got them loose, get a little screwdriver. I've already started prying it. And literally, you pull it away from the actual fridge itself. So, I've already loosened this. This is a bit of a prick to get apart, but patience and you'll get it. And then that will pull out along with this and you see how much give you got here. Just don't pull it too much. Then, inside, this is the cable. Then you can get to these little P-clips little Phillips screws holding them in and literally there's a bit of black gunk just to seal the hole and if I missed that as you can see just literally pulls out and that white stuff is called thermal paste or thermal plaster that you can buy from like J-Car or online. You can even buy it along with that kit. It comes with it. And that's it. So all you want to do, there you go. That is the old Femista. And the best way of measuring it is to measure from this P-clip where it goes into the actual unit in that basically that polystyrene stuff measure that and make sure the new one goes the same distance in and then just reverse order screw it all back together and then it will work a hundred percent the readings will be accurate um, it will get nice and cold and stick either to your, your fridge temperature or freezer or whatever you want it to be and that will cure your problems so for the sake of 38 bucks, 40 bucks delivered um, for a Femista. And this is literally never taken one apart. This has taken me 15, 20 minutes. So by the time I'm done, an hour all done, and you've saved yourself 
a perfectly good working fridge. This is an old one, but really good. And uh, yeah, she'll go another five, six years, no problems. So I hope this helps anyone. And if you've got any questions to where I got the uh, got the Femesta, just message me and uh, I'll send you the link. All right, take it easy. Hope this helps everyone. See ya.